Hey what's up guys, in this short video, I will show you a tiny little javascript library which you can use to show progress in the web page title using a fav icon in the form of a pie. The name of the library is pycon and it's really very easy to set it up and use it. To use pycon, just download its minified version from its github page from over here and then add a script element to link to it. Next, you just need two functions. One is to set the progress and another one to reset the progress to zero when the progress has reached 200%. There are also a bunch of options that can be set like the color of the pie, the background color, the shadow color or whether or not you want to show numerical percentage value in the title. The GitHub page for PyCon also lists the browsers and their versions in which this library is supported. For example, it is supported in the latest versions of Chrome, Firefox and Opera but for Internet Explorer and Safari, it falls back to only showing the title updates in the title bar and not the actual changing fav icon for each changing percentage of progress. Let's now see how we can quickly set the PyCon library up in a web page. So this is Visual Studio Code and I have already downloaded the minified version of this library. Now the first thing that I will do is I will add some default HTML scaffolding and then let's link to the minified version of PyCon using a script element. First I will create a new function and let's just call it as a start progress to begin the progress. Now let's call the start progress function on the windows dom content loaded event. So when this event will be fired up then the start progress function will be called. From the start progress function we will be calling another function with the name update progress. So for the sake of this example I will be using the set timeout function to periodically call the update progress function. But for the first time we will be calling it from the start progress function. We will also need to do a couple of more things before we can run this page. So let's first create a variable and let's just call it as progress with the value 0. Let's also set the options for the PyCon library. So I told you that we can set a number of different option values like color, background color, etc. I'm just going to copy this piece of code from over here and then use it in our web page. So now what we have to do is we will have to periodically call the update progress function. The first thing that I will do is I will increment the progress variables value by one every time the update progress function is going to be called. Now if the value of progress is less than 100 then we will keep on periodically again calling the update progress function. So to do that first I will set the PyCon progress by calling the pycon.setProgress function and then sending in the value of progress variable as the argument for the progress. And now let's call the set timeout function. So for the handler, I'm going to provide this update progress function itself. And then for the duration, I am going to provide the duration value as 100 milliseconds. Now if the progress is less than 100, then we will be again calling the update progress function after 100 milliseconds. But if the progress is 100, then what we are going to do? we are just going to reset the pycon progress and that can be done by calling pycon.reset and that should be pretty much everything that we need to do for this example to run. Now I'm going to use the live server extension to open up this page in the web browser. So right click in the page and then select this open with live server option. Now you can see in the title that the progress is incrementing by value of one every hundredth millisecond. This is how simple it is to use this PyCon library and that would be everything this video has to offer. I am Nitej and I will see you next time. Till then, stay safe and have fun.